Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming a man who has witnessed the entire Star Wars saga firsthand. Even if he is part of a Rebel Alliance and a traitor, I give you Mr. Anthony Daniels. Welcome to Star Wars in Concert, a celebration of a grand adventure that spanned three decades and six extraordinary films. As some of you may know, our story begins a long time ago. And whilst those bent on destroying the Republic were designed to hide in the shadows, they would not remain hidden for long. See three video. His 3PO was a fully socialized robot of outstanding intellect and intelligence. His deep sensitivity and devotional loyalty made him quite the most delightful companion. It was quite simply a miracle of engineering. <laughs> anyway, um, R2D2. As all the contestants enter the colossal arena, Padme Amidala. Queen of the Naboo and a Senator of the Republic. And only from across the stars. And a new Dark Lord of the Sith. Those who yearned for the return of peace and justice could not have had a more noble or courageous defender. Luke Skywalker at Moisture Farm. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please give a warm Imperial welcome to the soul of C-3PO. So, you want to hear what happens next? Do you really want to hear what happens next? Well, our story is packed with enthralling adventures and heroic deeds, perilous battles and thrilling escapes. No escape more daring than that of a rather battered but much loved spacecraft, the Millennium Falcon. Piloted by a smuggler named Han Solo. Though the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. An eight foot tall Wookiee, the Death Star. Giant walking machines that stalked and destroyed their prey with lethal force. The Emperor was supremely confident that he would crush the Rebel Alliance and maintain unchallenged dominion over the galaxy. In spite of the overwhelming firepower, the rebels struck back with unrelenting courage, determined to make a gallant stand against tyranny. In time, they would discover they were, in fact, brother and sister. Their estranged father helped to create a mighty blow at once and forever. Vader ultimately discovered the good that still lay deep within him. Now mortally wounded, the dying Vader lay cradled in his son's embrace. And as the Death Star crumbled around them, the slave boy of Tatooine, brilliant Jedi warrior, and Dark Lord of the Sith, at last found peace. The days of dread and despair were gone. And that's where our story ends. May the Force be with you, always. You're not ready to go home yet, are you? Do I sense a yearning to return to the dark side? Do I really sense a yearning to return to the dark side?